Thanks. Hello, Lincoln. I am Felipe from Migalia, and I wanted to talk a bit about some of our work on the web extensions API. As you know, the next iteration of the web extensions API is called Manifest v3, and one of its main features is declarative net request, which allows the extension to declare a set of rules and then ask the browser to evaluate and modify network requests on its behalf. Static lists of rules are bundled and distributed with the extension, and other rules can be added and removed dynamically one by one, but in a much smaller number. So, since the most useful lists have tens of thousands of rules, they have to be bundled statically with the extension. The problem that we are looking at happens when one of these static lists bundled with an extension includes a rule that turns out to be harmful after it has been distributed to users. This happens every once in a while, and usually nowadays extension developers take a short time to detect and fix these errors. Sometimes the problem becomes more widespread and more visible. For example, last year, when an error in EasyList broke functionality in Google Docs. But still, also in that case, developers were able to get notified, fix the problem, and distribute the updated list within a day or so. Now, an unintended consequence of the move to v3 is that fixing problems in these static lists will become much harder. Because the static lists can only be enabled and disabled as a whole, and they cannot be changed. So if you need to modify a static list, you need to update the whole extension which could take some time. And in the meantime, the web stays broken. You could disable that whole static list, but that would remove some of the main functionality of the extension. You could try to add a new rule dynamically, with more priority, that works as the opposite of the problematic one. But in that case, you risk side effects, because your new rule does not just overwrite the wrong one, but takes precedence over all those other tens of thousands of static rules. So from our point of view, it would be much easier to be able to simply disable the problematic static rule. And that's exactly what we've been working on. We are working on an API proposal to optionally add a collection of disabled rules at the point where the extension enables and disables static lists. We are discussing this proposal mainly on the Web Extensions Working Group, so, if this sounds like an interesting problem and caught your curiosity, then please drop by and leave us your feedback. Thank you very much.